okay friends uh, welcome back to the uh, video lecture so in this uh, video i'll be discussing on cbr method of design of flexible pavement okay so so far we already discussed uh, kanas method or triag gel method and uh, maclaurin method of flexible pavement design so uh, we'll start with uh, we'll move on with uh, the cbr method so here in cbr method uh, again uh, so please go through the theory part of the method design method uh, in textbook uh, so here so in case of cbr method of flexible payment design so we have got three methods or three parts okay so here uh, first we can design the thickness of the flexible payment by design chart developed by california uh, state highway department okay so here uh, this is a chart uh, that can be used so here you can see this is a design chart uh, is developed by california state highway department so for the design of thickness of flexible pavement so what are the things that uh, we have here okay so on x axis uh, we have a cbr value of the subgrade so then on y axis depth of the construction or thickness of the pavement so we have got three curves here you can see three curves are there so one Two and three. So here, first curve uh, is a for a wheel load of three one seven five kg. If the wheel load is three one seven five kg and less, so which is nothing but light traffic, uh, which is considered as light traffic. So first curve we are going to use. Second curve is for uh, medium traffic. So that is a wheel load of four thousand eighty two kg. So now the third curve is for heavy traffic with a wheel load of five four four three kg. Okay, so depending on the CBR value and the traffic on the road, so you are going to directly get the thickness of the pavement. So that is uh, uh, using design chart developed by California Highway Department, State Highway Department. So second method available in CBR method is design chart recommended by IRC. so to the same chart irc has made some modi modifications okay so uh, specially regarding the traffic so here we had only three types of traffic that is uh, low medium and heavy traffic depending on the wheel load value so here uh, you can see so the same chart is there uh, where x axis cbr value is there y axis we have a thickness of the pavement so number of curves have been increased and these curves are given the names uh, with uh, different alphabets you can see a b c d e f g uh, like this alphabets are given so these alphabets indicate uh the number of commercial vehicles per day exceeding 3 tons andre 3 ton ginta jaasti enu load capacity vehicle iruttala so est vehicles odadutte annodr mel these alphabets are given here you can see if the number of uh, commercial vehicles uh, per day uh, that we simply call it as cvpd commercial vehicles per day if the cvpd is between 0 to 15 you have to refer a chart if the cvpd is 15 to 45 b chart so like this if the cvpd is between 1500 to 4500 you are going to refer f chart if the cvpd is more than 4500 you are going to refer it as g so depending on the cbr and the traffic value you will directly get the uh, thickness of the pavement that is using irc chart okay so the third one is uh, by using formula developed by us crops engineers okay so uh, here using this uh, the us crops uh, engineers has given a formula for the thickness of flexible pavement that is is equal to t is equal to square uh, under root p uh, 1.75 divided by cbr minus 1 by p into pi raised to 1 by 2 so uh, reassigning this we have t is equal to 1.57 1.75 p divided by cbr minus a divided by pi into raised to 1 by 2 so here uh, p is wheel load cbr value a is uh, area of contact then pi is pi value Uh, using this equation directly you will get to know the thickness of the pavement so uh, we will see one problem <coughs> so which would uh, help you to understand the method better okay so here is the problem uh, cbr value of the subgrade soil is 5% calculate total thickness of the pavement using first one design curve developed by california uh, california state highway department Second one, design chart recommended by IRC. Third one, 
using the formula given by us crops engineers so uh, it is also given in the problem that he has asked us to assume p is equal to 4100 kg small pitch that is tire pressure is equal to 6 kg per centimeter square traffic is 200 cvpd so first method using design chart uh, developed by california state highway department so for 4100 kg we load and cbr of 5 percent so here you can see okay so okay so cbr values 4 and 6 is given hope this will be 5 okay so wheel load is given at as uh, 4100 kg so for that you can use the second curve okay which is having 4082 4, kg so for 5 where is 5 here is a 5 okay here it is going to meet the second curve and uh, if you extend it somewhere it will meet here so here you can see so the values are from uh, top to bottom top is 0 bottom is maximum value 70 uh, centimeter so here uh, here this is meeting so 35 somewhere here 35 36 37 or 38 we might be getting okay so therefore thickness of the pavement is 38 centimeter using the design chart developed by California State Highway Department so that is one one is over second one is using IRC chart so for CVPD 200 okay so the number of commercial vehicles per day it is given as 200 uh, and CBR remains the same 5 percent so using the chart here you can see see for 200 which curve you are going to use so okay so here is 150 to 450 the curve is D okay so for 5 CBR value and D curve you need to refer so this is a D curve CBR value 5 somewhere here we are meeting okay so if you extend it so it is going to meet here so 35 36 or 37 so it is uh, between 37 to 38 so I am going to consider it as 37.5 centimeter and the third one is by US crops engineers formula so T is equal to under root P uh, 1.75 divided by CBR minus 1 divided by small p into pi rise to 1 by 2 so capital P is given as uh, 4100 kg small p is 6 kg per centimeter centimeter square uh, sorry it is centimeter square then CBR 5 percent so substituting the values T is equal to under root 4100 1.75 divided by 5 minus 1 divided by 6 small p is 6 pi rise to 1 by 2 we will get 35.5 5 centimeter so thank you very much hope you understood the method uh, again if you have any queries you can contact me you can uh, text me through whatsapp or even you can directly call me so the notes will be distributed in the whatsapp group whatsapp group thank you very much have a good day